Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a live audit for a tree service business. So feel free to follow along. Now let's dive in. Okay, so we're gonna be reviewing these few campaigns for this account and for the last 30 days. So a few things that I'm noticing here are the conversion rates. And I'm just gonna focus on these top two campaigns because these are the ones that have spent the majority of the money budget for these 30 days. First off, Looks like we have a major conversion issue of 1.72%. And then this is pretty, this is not the greatest as well. We'll confirm tracking is set up properly and that we're seeing the proper conversion actions coming through. So yeah, let's dive into this. We're going to look at structure. We're going to look at settings. We're going to look at a little bit of everything on this campaign. So I see that the, this company has tree service, tree trimming, improving arborist, tree removal, fire abatement, emergency tree service. So. Looks like the ad groups look good at first glance. It looks like they are breaking these out into different service for services that the company provides. But let's dive in a little bit deeper and see how they are breaking these out based on the keywords. But yeah, keywords look good. Exact match, a phrase match looks good. I do see some high intent type keywords, but I do see some low intent stuff like family tree service. This doesn't like necessarily say I'm ready to hire a tree service company. We want keywords that are going to be coming from someone who's searching, who's ready to hire a company. So best tree service, arborist tree service, like they're looking for a service. It could be like professional tree service near me. We could do some of those tree care service near me or tree care near me. It looks like they has tree service near me. So that's good getting to that. But one thing I would say is I would definitely drop a lot of these uh, low intent type keywords. It's just going to pretty much waste money. Feel free to test them, but most likely you're going to see a lot of uh, search terms that are irrelevant coming through. So yeah, that's my uh, my take on that. Let's take a look at the ads on these. So it's good. They do have three RSAs inside of this ad, so that's great. So I'm looking at family-owned tree service, okay? And then this is the tree service ad group. Okay, so as far as this goes, we have family-owned tree service, trusted tree service, excellent palm service. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I would recommend adding some call to actions in here. Call now to schedule. Uh, basically, and this is a call to action, but it's a bit on the weak end of things. It's fine, but I would do something that is telling them to take action immediately. And then also I would drop in some like more unique value propositions like family owned tree service. And then I would also get rid of this pin. Allow Google to rotate through these RSAs allow them to choose what headlines, combination, and what descriptions are going to be doing best based on whatever keywords coming in or whatever person is uh, searching whatever device. So it's a lot of different data points to, that they're crunching there. Maybe a few more like unique value propositions, same day service available, 24 years in, in business, or just something like that to make your business stand out. They really go a long way. So... That's that. Uh, descriptions look pretty good. Feel free to ha have some strong call to actions in the descriptions. Just ca call now. Call now to schedule or just even just call now is fine. Or uh, yeah, th here's one here. Let's replicate these in all the descriptions. Call us, call us today or call now. Call now to schedule. Tell them what action you want them to take in this. And that helps these, these ads out quite a bit. So let's take a look at the assets that they have. Okay. It looks like we are using assets. So that's good. Site links, yeah, you can tell this is going directly to a just a regular website. There is some concern on that just because having a landing page keeps the consumer from straying off into areas that you don't necessarily need them to go. So you want them to take a few actions. You want them to either call to schedule service or you want them to make a form submission to where they're requesting call back for service. You want to keep the focus very narrow. You don't want them to go to your social media. You don't want them to go to really about an about page. You can have an about section on one landing page. Landing pages convert much better than the typical uh, just company website. So highly recommend setting up a landing page that is focused on the actions that you need to take with strong call to actions, strong headlines, great images, high image quality, speaking to what services the company provides. And then of course, brand it use trust badges, things like that to help really build trust between the business and the consumer looking at potentially hiring the business. So those are a few things I recommend as far as landing pages go. And then inside of here, a lot of people think that you can't just direct link different types of contact us or service or what we typically do 
is we'll just list the services. If it's like tree removal, tree trimming, or land clearing, or whatever it might be, I would list this here and then I would link it directly to the landing page. And we only have one landing page. It doesn't have to be multiple pages in order to use site links. So a lot of people think that's how it works, but that's not necessarily how it works. So these are good. I like these. The call outs are good. Like got some call to actions there. So that's good. You are using a call asset. So that's great. Definitely make sure this is working. Let's actually, I'm just curious here. Let's see. Yeah, I would recommend tracking this. I would make this a call to action that is specific to the phone number. So call extension lead, something like that. You would want to use that in order to track these calls because we want to know exactly where the leads are coming from. We don't want to like have to question that. I just, I would keep that in mind. Okay. Let's look at the, let's go back a little bit. Actually, I'm assuming that just covering one of these campaigns is probably going to be fine, but let's, let's look at these other ad groups really quick. These are doing some of the same things, but I gave you some good tips in the other ad group. These are going to, those are also relevant for this ad group, th those tips. And then the same with the ads themselves. So let's check out the settings really quick. All right. Targeting. It's great. Max clicks is great. But once you do have 15, 20 conversions that, that are good, high quality conversions, I would recommend shifting over to target CPA. So it's max conversions with a CPA cap. And I would say only if you're having very high CPAs. If you're not having high CPAs and Max Clicks is doing it for you, don't bother it. It's working. I would leave it at that point. But if you do have high CPAs, I recommend using TCPA, which is just this right here. Max conversions. And you click this and then you would set an actual CPA there. So pretty simple. One thing I would recommend with the ad groups here is to try testing some geo ad groups, some of your larger cities that you're targeting. Let's say you're in Atlanta. I would do Atlanta tree service or Philadelphia tree service. You get the idea with this. And then obviously inside of the ad group, you would have Atlanta in the keyword. Make sure you have Atlanta in the ad itself. And same with every ad group on that is using the geo focused ad group ad schedule. This looks pretty reasonable here. Let's still look at your devices. Okay. You haven't been running this very long, but typically, and just this may be different for you, but typically target tablets don't do anything for us. Feel free to test it and then drop it off later. But I would I definitely would pay attention to this on computers. Sometimes they do, they perform okay. Sometimes they just perform terribly. Depends on the market and a lot of different factors. So. Just keep an eye on these as you, as you have more data. Then on advanced bidding here, it looks like you have pretty cheap calls coming in. Make sure you are doing your advanced bid adjustments. A lot of times these leads come in pretty cheap. 